Yeah. Um, uh, Syracuse being another terrible on the field. Great on the hardwood. Bayheim can't come and coach some. Yeah, he's not coaching football. your football team. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. Okay. Yeah, Shashevsky and Bayheim. Imagine them calling plays on the freaking grass rather than the hard, hardwood. Hey, listen, man, they can they can get they people can to try. do what they need them to do. It's probably you know? a better idea, honestly, even if they don't well, know the, a lick well, about football. Hey, listen. Shisevsky's retired. He's got shit to do. He ain't got nothing to do yeah. now. Yeah, imagine his recruiting. Like, all right, guys, I'm going to coach football hey. now. Hey, you know what? It's an intriguing <laughs> thought. It's an intriguing thought. I might call up Duke. Screw it. You yeah, hey, and Jim Beheim's one of the best at paying players. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Nobody's Safe. Nobody's Safe, Nobody's Safe. I'm your host, Jason Watkins. I am back with the frenemy who's a little cantankerous tonight, Mr. Bryce <laughs> Pinson. <laughs> if you love college football, you are definitely in the right place. So before you forget, smash that subscriber button. Make sure you like our videos and don't forget to ring the bell so that you don't miss a moment of the Nobody's Safe podcast. Bryce, are you in, in a hurry? What's going I got to say this, bro. <laughs> you don't like the word? Think, y'all, no, it was a great word. <laughs> y'all think that we like, it's probably rainbows and lollipops off air. It, we are exactly the same humans off air. We just trash each other the whole time. Like we're trying to start this video and he won't shut up. He never shuts up. And he just he, talks so much trash. Is this some shit or what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm we taking over. This will be the last of the Power Five tiers. See, he never shuts up. I can't even take over. I can't even take, take over. over. You just well, you don't know I, how to introduce anything. Oh, Shit. I, see, I don't know how to do anything right. I don't. I can't do anything right. You're worse than my flipping wife. Hey, listen, everybody. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe if you like college football. And if you hate OU, because there will be plenty of bad OU talk, too. So, anyways, give oh, us a like, a comment, and subscribe. If Actually, if you like OU, too, because Jason's going to defend them. Anyways, I'm we're talking about the that. ACC. We're talking about the ACC. And, um, you know, to be real honest, I know less about the ACC than Jason. Jason's the college football. Actually, I know a lot about college football. However, he's doing the tier list, so if we get it wrong... It's on him. Oh, Don't look at me. Sure. Point your comments towards Jason. Hey, you know what? Oh, oh I guess Bryce is, Bryce is getting a little sensitive about some <laughs> of the stuff you guys are saying in the comments. No, yeah. he's not. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so, I'm so scared of y'all. Sensitivity. A little sensitivity. That's okay, something. anyways. Here okay. we go. Let me here share this screen. Give me a second here, boys. Oh. We got the Atlantic Coast Conference, the greatest basketball conference in the country. Can they play football, Jason? Who do we got some in the trash them, can? Some of them can play football. Some of them are better on the court. Yeah. Um, sure. the, the, one, of them being, one of them being Duke, who's garbage in football. So trash them. Trash them. There's nothing that makes me feel better than putting Duke in the trash. I love I it. Yeah, right I here, boys. It. Yeah, I do too. That yeah, is, I like, I like, I like Carolina yeah, in there. There we go. So yeah, um, uh, Syracuse being another hardwood uh, genius team. Terrible on the field. Great on the hardwood. Bayheim can't come and coach some. Yeah, he's not coaching football. your football team. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. Okay. Yeah, Shashevsky and Bayheim. Imagine them calling plays on the freaking grass rather than the hard, hardwood. Hey, listen, man, they can they can get they people to try. do what they need them to do. It's probably you know? a better idea, honestly, even if they don't know well, a lick well, about football. Hey, listen. Shisevsky's retired. He's got shit to do. He ain't got nothing to do yeah, now. Yeah, imagine not? his recruiting. Like, all right, guys, I'm going to coach football hey. now. Hey, you know what? It's an intriguing <laughs> thought. It's an intriguing thought. I might call up Duke. Screw it. You yeah, hey, and Jim Beheim's one of the best at paying players. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> 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 all right, well, 
realize we got the trash can, bro. This is a um, this is a tier Boston list. College. Boston College is another basketball school, and then Georgia Tech. Are they? Uh, are they a basketball school? They're not real good I at that either. They are. They're yeah, okay. Yeah, they're okay. They're all right. Um, Georgia, Georgia Tech, Tech too. That one hurts. That's weird. Bro, you know it's anyway. weird that they've been so bad when they own Atlanta. You know they should get yeah. unbelievable. I think they, they would used to probably be benefit the most from a move to the SEC. If you figure, you know, because Atlanta is SEC country, if they yeah. were in the SEC, they might benefit very much from that. Be one of those schools that sucked in the ACC but got really good when they got to the SEC. Yeah, no, I, I, I actually I like that. that yeah, I can see that happening. Is that uh, all your trash cans? Yeah, I'm done with the trash there. I think that the next level up, though, right now, looking at it, man, I, Florida State's definitely a C. That, I mean, they shouldn't be. Ooh. I, I, I mean, agree. They be, I bro. agree. They shouldn't be, but they are. Like how? Like anyway, those I don't Florida know. They went five and seven sometimes. again a year ago. They've been struggling with recruiting. UCF is killing them in recruiting right now. Miami getting good. All of a sudden, getting Mario Cristobal not a good thing for Florida State. You know what, not Jason? Maybe they State. stopped chasing rabbits. Maybe these video games that came out, these kids are now not chasing rabbits like Ed Reed and Sean Taylor did back in the day. How they talked about on Thirty for Thirty. Maybe that's the problem. These dang video games, these dang iPads. Get your kids in Florida in the speed state off the iPads. Throw them out there. Get some rabbits. Dang it. (laughs) Yeah, uh, they're in my C. They would definitely be a C. For me, I would also probably put Louisville C, Virginia Tech C. Nah, uh, yeah, Virginia? yeah. They, uh, uh, I don't like that. Seven. I don't care what they Virginia did last Tech? year. They haven't uh, been good in a while. But they're still B. They're always B just because of the freaking letters on their helmet. But okay, I'll put them C. It's your it's your funeral. Whatever. I don't know. I don't care about them guys. I don't care. <laughs> well, whatever. So that's a C. And then so we've got Virginia, Louisville. Well, we have Virginia also. Yep. Virginia okay. Also. Okay. I was about so to say, do not there. put them B tier if you're putting Virginia Tech C. Absolutely not. They suck too. Yeah. So okay. All right. Uh, sorry. They suck. Sorry. Okay. B tier. Um, B tier. Oh man. I think right now everybody keeps expecting, and these guys, these both of these teams. Well, one of them is ranked, but at the moment, I think it's Carolina. I think they got to be a B squad. They, I agree. I agree. Completely underachieved a year ago. After they a always great first season under, under uh, hey man, they looked really good the year before that. But so yeah, they underachieved. I think that they're expected to do a lot better this year. But I say prove it, Mac. Go prove it. Yeah, you know, no doubt. Mac Brown, Mac Brown knows what he's doing. Go prove it. I think that NC State was a good team last year. I think that they're they're up there. They what did they finish second in the Atlantic well, Division? Geez. Yeah, they finished second in the Atlantic Division. I know people like them a lot, but I I feel like they're also a B. Um, I think I think you need to get at least to the ACC championship game before I or win your side. You know, yeah. So I will tell you this: as far as like tailgating country, whenever I lived in Raleigh, North or near Raleigh in Wilson, North Carolina, oh, dude, those guys are nuts. Like all those colleges, dude, go to a bar. And oh. watch the North Carolina well, Duke game. There are people screaming so on the table, standing yeah, on Raleigh, the table. And then Wake Forest is right there nearby, also along oh, it's the, nuts. in Chapel Hill. It is so fun down there to go watch basketball and stuff. Blast. Basketball season, is better. there is no better place to be. No better place to oh, be. Yeah. Right in that ten mile area. <laughs> oh yeah, eat some sparkle. of that Carolina barbecue and. And go pig picking. Oh, I know. Let's go. Pig picking. What is this? <laughs> you just pick a pig, man. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay. let's move it on. All right. So those are the two Bs. I I feel like the last four teams in this uh, conference, to me, are um, – I, I still feel like Miami, with what they're doing recruiting-wise, they're, they're in the top ten rankings. I'm going to stick them at A. They're going to need to – Prove that they can do something. We've heard this before that they're uh, going to get better. I, I think got a problem. Go. I got a problem with this. What do you got? I, I just don't see. I know you're done with B tier, but Pitt belongs in B. I know you're about to put them in A. They belong in B, but whatever. Yeah, they won the ACC championship game. They just I, it, won it, that's ACC. fine. That's fine. Um, they did lose. They don't have the same quarterback, but 
the but look, Pat Narduzzi has okay. proven that he can coach there. And so okay. to win in that, hey, yeah, it's him. They're in A. I would not. If win. it was me making this list, I would have Pitt and Wake Forest and B, even though they were the top two teams in their division, I don't really care. I think it's Clemson and Miami's division this year. That's my opinion, but you're making the list. <clears> so, well, it's this is a this is both of our list here because it's the nobody. No, it's safe definitely list. yours. It's yours. You're yeah. not safe. Moving on. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah. So <laughs> Bryce is too chicken to make any freaking picks. So uh, it's going to go the way I want it. Then I'm going to so, make a uh, few accounts. I'm going to make a few Wake accounts Forest, and attack you myself. I think that Wake Forest <laughs> and Miami are definitely going to be A schools along with Pitt. So. Um, Pitt being the defending champions, you know, Narduzzi's proven that he can he can win there. And I mean that's I don't know. I, I think that it's I think that's solid. I only think that there's one premier team in the conference though, and that's obviously Clemson. Notre Dame. Oh, Notre Dame's not in the conference. Not okay, in well. the conference, yeah. So and they and right. they would be they would be in the Big Ten conference anyway. Dang, I can't get them out of here. Sorry okay. guys. So they're yeah, in the they're trash, trash, but I'll pull them out right here. <laughs> So you can't see them. Yeah, not my yeah. school. Yeah. So yeah, Clemson is the only. And with here's the question though, they did not play. I mean, they ended up going ten and two, which is not a or ten and three. I'm sorry, which is not a great season for no for Clemson. Um, DJ Uyunglele is kind of. I mean, and they have one of the top recruits in the country coming in. Uh, as a quarterback this year, so DJ, if he doesn't play pretty well in those first couple of games. Is the is the hook quick? I don't know. Dabo's been saying that he believes in him like he believed in in just the same way he believed in uh oh uh Trevor Lawrence, the same way he believed in Deshaun Watson. He believes that DJ is one of the best players in the country. I think last year he wasn't. So we'll see. But one thing you know they're gonna do at Clemson, play defense. Um although they did lose their their top defensive coaches. So. so here we go. I got a question for y'all before we get off of here. Um, and we're going to, we're going to guess this first. Um, we're not going to get to see y'all's answers until after, but we're going to create a thumbnail for YouTube and it's going to have the team that we think we're going to put a team in the trash tier that we think is going to, you know, make the most people mad in the comments. If you watch this long, Go ahead and put down who that team should be. Obviously, we made our own decision. We have an idea who we're going to throw in the trash tier on the thumbnail just to make people mad because that's what we do because nobody's safe. Uh, nobody's safe. <laughs> who do you think, y'all ACC guys, who do you think is the team that if we threw them in the trash, that college would just be so angry? And maybe we already Wake have them Forest. in the trash. Wait for us, man. Or Pitt. I think it's going to be Wake Forest or Pitt because people are going to be like, you don't even watch the what ACC. If, what, if we, what if we threw Miami in there? Holy shit. Oh, I don't know. I think they would know it was clickbait then. <laughs> but Wake Forest and Pitt, they might think we're stupid. Yeah, well, they think that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is safe. Not no, even Jason safe. and Bryce. Or definitely not Jason and the ACC. Because you're going to get killed. Never, 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 never safe. We are never <laughs> safe from each other. We're never safe from the people in the comments. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, hey, if you haven't realized yet, folks, we will come back at you in those comments, too. And is one of the videos you the just comments? saw, the one of the videos you just saw, uh, we kind of ripped them up, uh, some comment guys there. So, Oklahoma uh, yeah, mistake. Mess with us if you dare. <laughs> the biggest dorks in but college hey, football. We are about to. We're going to give you more access to us coming forward. Um, something that, hey, you know what? While we're still talking college sports, we're still talking college. We always are, but but something I wanted to say. There's a couple of something we're about to be doing our Patreon page. We're going to give some some premium services. Mostly, uh, mostly centered around fantasy football, which Bryce is an expert at, and then of course gambling, which we both do really well at. But I'm talking gambling on college football, which is probably the hardest. I've got some over unders I want to kind of tease to you. Um, let me see what you guys think about this. But some the, the first one that I saw that I really was interested in out of the Big Twelve. This is it's kind of weird. There, there's a couple of teams in the Big Twelve that they're really um, kind of underestimating this year. Um, the first one being Iowa State. 
the over under in Vegas for them is six and a half on win total. They were in the they were in the conference championship game two years ago. They got a new quarterback, but from what I can tell, he's supposedly better than the last one in Brock Purdy. And so and their defense, I mean, that's what they do. Matt Campbell coaches defense. He's a Big Ten guy. That's what he does. I feel like uh at six and a half wins, I am definitely going over there. I, if oh, you, I'll take that bet. You would go under there? No, I'm going over, so you All can day. go under. You go under. I'll go over. Absolutely not. I, I, I picked to kidding. win. I picked to win money. And I'm trying to help our folks here do the same. <laughs> okay, my bad. I'll back off. Wins. I'll These back guys off. want to do that. This is what you're going to get from us, a lot of the stuff. Um, West Virginia also. I think that they're still a year or so away from being very take good. that bet, too. But I also believe that five and a half wins, I think that they're probably around seven wins. So I think that they're, you're even getting an extra point, uh, an yeah. extra game in there. I really feel like West Virginia is probably one and, of those teams that could definitely win the over there. If I was going to go unders and stuff, I think that Ole Miss may be set up for a letdown. But is you it, calling that? At seven and a what, half, what I it, think it's, they play in the ooh. toughest division in the, in the country. They play in the I, SEC West. They got to okay. deal with Alabama every year. They got to deal okay. with uh, LSU every year. They're no just... love for Kiffin. No love I for love Lane. Him. I love him, but I also know they got a new quarterback, and they're not that settled on him. Okay, if you Jackson got Dart, more than one quarterback, Jackson Dart, as good as he one. supposedly lo- is, as good as he supposedly looked at SC, which they didn't win much, so I don't know how great he could have looked. But as a freshman, apparently in the spring game, he looked like trash. So I don't know. I feel like they could definitely get the over, but I think if you were gonna if you were gonna go with with who's the most likely team, there's always one that goes seven and six that you thought was gonna win ten games, right? You know, I gotta say one thing about that, and it's just kind of fun. Everybody think about this. Last year in the preseason, we were all <laughs> saying that Jamar Chase couldn't catch. Y'all remember that? We're like, he has no hands. Yeah, that's anyway, fair. so that's fair. Listen, <laughs> hey, look, I'm not saying. But it's not even just that. The spring oh, game I ain't trashing you. I just thought that was funny. I, I feel just, like every year, though, do you not see the, that one team that you expect them to win 10 games and they win seven instead? Or, you know, and it only takes one little thing to go bad to kind of, you know, kind of ruin your season a little bit. Look at Texas. They started off great, lost the one game to Arkansas, but they went into the Red River game four and one. And they didn't, they won one more game after that. That's it. You know, I mean, it, it, it starts at one spot, and then next thing you know, so you never know. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. You will get – we're going to have some options up there on our Patreon page coming coming up. I want everybody to take a look at that. Um, become, you become a patron. We're going to talk to you and give you some insider tips on betting and fantasy football every week, but it's only for our Patreon. So – Take a look at that. Um, we're going to be doing some live streams coming up. We'll be talking more about it to you there. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoy the tier list. Nobody if you don't, say me. If you don't, I'm sorry, but I'm not that sorry. Talk to you soon. Bye.